Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I am so excited for the weekend and I thought I'd start my weekend off with a little Pilates session. And what's even better, I've managed to convince Wapti to join me on this session. So it's going to be quite an interesting one. I hope that he manages to keep up because he's been quite lazy lately. So let's see. We're going to start on our backs. Wapti on your back. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with our knees and ankles together in a, with your back on the floor, you're going to lift your arms into a rugby post position. From here, you're slowly going to rock your knees from side to side. You're going to fall to the right and inhale and fall to the left. And we're going to do four of these. That's four. From here, we're going to bring our arms slightly larger than shoulder width apart. And you're going to rock from side to side doing the same movement. And inhale center. And exhale to the left. All the way down. We're going to do two more of these. You're supposed to be exercising. <laughs> and slowly back from here i want you to extend your legs down the mat you're going to keep your arms in that rugby post position you're going to activate that core sucking belly to spine you're going to point your toes towards the wall down below and you are slowly going to inhale and on the exhale lift your right leg and left hand towards each other and down and same thing with the other side and up and stretch i want you to feel that stretch into that hamstring on all the way up and slowly down we're going to do four more after this one and one and two and lifting up and three and last one four from here keeping your legs where they are we're going to bring arms towards the ceiling and i want to tend to struggle with this one you just got to work a little bit harder to tuck in that pelvis to towards the floor you're going to inhale and on the exhale you're slowly going to Roll your head, neck and chest up towards the ceiling and slowly rolling back up. And stacking that vertebra, you're going to inhale and on the exhale, slowly rounding that chin and then that chest and then the rest of the body towards your toes. You're going to inhale and exhale, extend as much as you can, keep holding while you're holding on to push your knees down into the ground and you're going to extend a little bit further if you can and slowly rolling back up to stack that vertebra and inhale and on the exhale rolling chin then your neck getting into that rounded C curve and extending forward as far as you can Deep breath in and exhale, extend. Allow that stretch, pushing those knees into the ground. Now what I want you to do is if you can, point your toes to your nose. Push knees into the ground, toes to nose and hold. Five, four, three, two, one and inhale and slowly exhale, coming back up. We're going to place our arms in a T position. Getting that activation, I want you to feel that core sucking in, belly to spine, lengthening through your spine, palms to ceiling, and pointing your toes to the ceiling, knees towards the floor. You're going to inhale, and on the exhale, you're going to rotate towards your right hand side, two pulses, inhale, center. Exhale, lift, 
two pulses, inhale, center, and right, center, left, center, keeping those arms and wrists in line with each other and palms facing each other. Let's do four more, one, and exhale, two, and exhale, three, last one, four. From here, you're slowly going to widen the distance between your feet, about shoulder width apart, lengthening through that spine, lifting a little bit higher, good. And same thing, this time we still have palms facing ceiling, but as we rotate, our palms are going to change direction. So you're going to start in a T position. On the inhale, you're going to rotate. Exhale, extend and hold. Push a little bit harder and inhale back up. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, extend and hold. And push, push, push. <laughs> and back to center and slowly rotating. Rotating around and extending forward, bringing that left hand towards that right ankle on the outside of it and slowly back up and center. Rotate and extend. Last one on each leg and up and rotate and extend. And we're just going to hold here as much as you can and five, lengthen four. Three, two, one, back up to center and over to the left and extending and holding for five, four, three, two, one, and back to center. From here, knees and ankles together, <laughs> palms facing each other and arms extended out in front of you. You're going to inhale. And on the exhale, you're slowly going to roll down. If you need to, you can bend your knees, which will make it a little bit easier. And you can just hold the back of your knee over here to control that movement down. Otherwise, if you're feeling confident, you can control yourself by tilting your pelvis all the way back down towards the floor. <laughs> and from here, we're going to bend our knees. We're sucking in that pelvis, placing our hands on our sides, palms facing the floor. You're going to activate that core. Inhale, and on the exhale, you're slowly going to round that pelvis up towards the ceiling, lifting those hips off the ground and squeezing those glutes. And inhale, and exhale, slowly rolling down, all the way to the bottom. One vertebra at a time. We're going to do four more of these. And inhale, and exhale up. While you're doing this, I want you to feel that activation, feel that movement going from the bottom of your spine all the way to that upper mid back. And inhale, and exhale down. Remember when you're getting to that top, you are digging those heels into the ground, imagining them coming towards your glutes and slowly back up. You wanna feel a deep hamstring and glutes activation. And inhale, squeezing at the top and exhale down. We're going to do one more. And on that last one, we're going to stay in the air Inhale, exhale up. One vertebra at a time. And in this position, up in the air, lifting, lifting, drawing those scaps down the back, digging those heels into the ground. You're going to hold for five, four, three, two, and inhale. And exhale, slowly rolling down. We're going to go back up, inhale, exhale, rolling up, lifting, sucking in that pelvic floor, up, 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 squeezing those glutes, 
preparing to stabilize on that left to lift that right leg into tabletop position we're going to inhale exhale toe tap we're going to do eight of these one and two and three and four five six two more toe tap inhale up seven and eight lifting back up dropping that leg down towards the floor inhale exhaling lifting that left and inhale exhale toe tap and one and two lift those hips as high as you can three and four and five and six seven and eight and back up dropping that left leg down lifting those hips to the ceiling inhale exhale rolling down to come down for just a second break and inhale are you needing a rest yeah. <laughs> we're gonna continue we're not finished the set and inhale and exhale slowly rolling back up let's push through then we can have a rest after this one core tight we're going to lift that right leg into tabletop position and extend it up towards the ceiling we're going to point towards the ceiling we're going to lower that leg towards the floor and as we're lifting it back up we're pointing our toes to the nose can you see that movement of my foot and we're going to do six of these and one and down and two keeping that hip height and down and three and down four two more keeping that height five and six and lengthening that leg in line with those knees lengthening through that spine imagine there's a rope around that ankle pulling that leg towards the wall in line with your knees five four three two one back to tabletop dropping that leg down preparing for the same sequence in the left left into tabletop extending towards the ceiling pointing that toe and as i said pointing as you go down toes to nose as you go up and down and let's start and one core tight keeping that hip height two and three and four and five and six and back aligning those knees and holding for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one bending to tabletop dropping down lifting those hips to slowly roll back down from here you're going to place your hands on the on your glutes and you're just going to walk yourself back up and you're going to hold you're going to have a little bit of a rest recovery as requested by wafti not part of the set but let's have a little bit of a rest we're just going to hug our chest towards our knees lengthening through that spine and we're just going to hold for five four three two one from here we're slowly going to walk ourselves back down one vertebra at a time all the way to the floor Hwati, you're losing concentration all the way down and sucking belly to spine core activated we're going to do one more bridge set before we move on into core so let's inhale and on the exhale slowly rolling that pelvis up towards the ceiling one vertebra at a time we're going to hold for five seconds four three 
to on the exhale we're going to extend our right leg towards the ceiling we're just going to do six of these we're slowly going to lower that hip and lift it back up one keeping the positioning of that other leg too and I want you to slowly control yourself up and down and three and four squeezing those glutes and last one sorry last two and five and six and lowering that leg to align with those knees and holding for eight seven six five four three two one dropping that leg down lifting the other leg up towards the ceiling hips at a 90 degree and inhale exhale down one and slowly back up and two and up squeezing and pushing those hips up towards the ceiling three but still making sure that that back is not half extended two more four and five and last one six and lowering that leg align with the other knee and we're going to hold four eight seven six five four three two one bending that leg dropping it down lifting those hips to the ceiling to slowly roll back down in this position you're going to activate your glutes sorry you're going to activate your core sucking so belly to spine and we're going to lift <coughs> your legs up into tabletop position we're going to start with a few single leg toe taps just to warm up so inhale exhale toe tap inhale up left leg toe tap while we're toe tapping we are aware of the positioning of our pelvis in relation to the floor we are sucking in that pelvic floor and we are monitoring the movement of that pelvis as our leg drops down to toe tap the floor and last one on each leg and one 90 degrees in the hips 90 degrees in the knees and knees together and inhale exhale double leg toe tap and one slow and controlled and two and three core tight we're doing six four and five and six leaving those legs on the floor you're going to interlace your hands behind the head you're going to inhale and on the exhale you're going to bring head neck and chest off the ground so that you can activate those upper abs making sure that your pelvis stays where it is that's one exhale up two core tight and all the way up using your core to lift those gaps your shoulder blades off the ground we're doing two more after this one but just prepare because on the last one we're going to stay in the air and rolling up and lifting and lift a little bit higher if you can from here you're going to inhale exhale rotate towards the right hand side inhale center you're just doing a light rotation those elbows are staying where they are the shoulders are staying where they are it's just the movement of your trunk with that core activation let's do four more and one and two and three and four back to center inhale slowly rolling back down you're going to lift put your arms on your sides again lifting your legs back up into that tabletop position and from here you're going to bring arms overhead and you're going to for palms facing each other you're going to double leg toe tap with arm extension inhale on the exhale double leg toe tap 
and slowly lifting up we're going to do five of these before we go into a tabletop crunch and that's two and exhale down watching that pelvis three and four slow and controlled feeling that activation from here we're going to do five crunches so double leg toe tap straight into a crunch and double leg toe tap into crunch using that core to lift up we've got two more after this one and one and two and slowly rolling back down bringing arms into a t position or rugby post position knees and ankles together and you're going to rock towards the right dropping those knees and slowly back over towards the left and from here we've got one more on each side we're going to bring arms to sides lifting those legs into tabletop position one leg at a time core tight and we're slowly going to bring arms overhead sucking belly to spine you're going to inhale and on the exhale lifting arms head neck and chest off the ground and bringing hands towards your sides from here we're going to inhale back we're going to do four of these and inhale exhale up and inhale back that's two and exhale up three and last one on that one we're going to lift up and hold and we're going to push down for five pulsations and one two three four now extend those legs if you can and one two three four five bending into tabletop and extending over and we're not resting yet we're going to do one more set so let's push through and inhale exhale extend up and over and five pulsations in the tabletop position core tight and one two three four and extend your legs and one two three four five bending those knees extending back down arms in a t or rugby post position and slowly leaning those legs keeping them bent over to the side allowing you stretch into that back please make sure if you are struggling very very essential that if you're not managing to maintain a quality activation you are going to help extend that lower back which is going to cause lower back pain which is going to cause you more detriment than anything so please make sure and over to the right hand side when you're doing these exercises that you take caution and that you have a good understanding and awareness of the positioning of that pelvis how fatigued your muscles are getting and how quality that activation is and slowly back to center dropping those legs down we're slowly going to extend those legs towards the floor we're going to place arms towards the ceiling if you need to you can help yourself up using your arms walking them up the legs otherwise we're going to do another roll up rolling that chin then your head and neck and chest up into a seated position <laughs> rolling all over the floor all right and from here we're going to lift right leg up off the floor and left leg up off the floor from here you can see i'm in a seated position back straight with my knees in a 45 degree angle actually a 90 degree angle you're going to place hands on your 
outer part of your knee. From here, you're going to extend and bend knee to chest. And one, are you resting? And two, keep going. And three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And slowly down, we're going to extend, palms facing each other, inhale, exhale, slowly rolling back down. Extending arms, inhale, and exhale, slowly rolling back up, slow and controlled, back into that seated position. Lifting those legs up off the floor, hands on your knees, and knee to chest. One, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And slowly dropping those legs down, extending those knees. Inhale and exhale, slowly rolling back down extending arms overhead and slowly bringing them towards your side you're going to turn over onto your side onto your right hand side so that your left hand side is facing the ceiling hope you're ready for some glute work you're going to rest your leg head on your right arm other hand in front and you're slowly going to inhale and on the exhale just make sure that your core is activated not leaning forward or back that you are completely square towards the floor so you got to work really hard and inhale and on the exhale lifting your straight legs and knees up towards the ceiling and inhale down we're going to do six of these exhale up inhale down two up three, up, four, two more, five, and on the last one, you're going to keep that in the air, and we're going to hold for eight, seven, six, five, lift a little bit higher, four, three, two, one, and slowly down, inhale, exhale, lifting up, we're going to keep that lower leg hovering off the ground, and you're going to extend that top leg up and slightly backwards and one and two backwards <laughs> and three 45 degree angle and four and five core tight and six and seven last one eight and back towards the bottom leg lifting both legs up to hold for eight seven six five, four, three, two, inhale and exhale down. From here, you're going to tuck your elbow under your shoulder. You're going to bend that bottom leg, hips, knees and shoulders all in line. You're going to lift your top leg up towards the ceiling, pointing it nicely. Slight forward rotation of that upper hip. You're going to bend and extend that leg we're going to do eight and one a little bit higher two you want to feel that glute activation three a little bit higher point that toe four and five make sure making sure you're not slumping into that shoulder six and seven and you're going to hold from here you're going to knee tuck and extend one and knee tuck two and three Slow and controlled, four and five and six and seven. Making sure that when you're bending and extending that that knee is in line with the other knee and we're gonna hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bending and lowering. From here, we are going to Lift up into a side plank position. <laughs> Waft is 
chilling with your time out. Let's have a little bit of a rest. You're going to turn over onto your backs. You're going to stretch out that glute that you've just used. And you're going to hold just for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to turn over, back onto your sides, lifting up into that side plank position. Same side, you're staying on your same side. And you're going to lift, and you're going to hold, hand behind head. And in this position, we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, with 5 hip lows. Keeping that position of that leg. One and two and three and four. And we're going to hold for another 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bending that leg, coming down and slowly turning over onto the other side. We can now rest that glute completely. Well done, everybody. I hope you're feeling a deep burn into that glute. We're going to lie down, resting our head on that arm, extending our legs, hips, knees and shoulders all aligned. And you have your hips going square down towards the floor and this hand supporting an inhale and on the exhale, lifting those knees towards the ceiling and inhale down. Exhale up two and inhale down and up three, four, and five and six. And we're going to hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and inhale. Exhale down. Rest for three two and inhale exhale up hovering that bottom leg we're going to lift that top leg at a 45 degree angle towards the ceiling one and two a little bit more back three and four and five three more six seven and eight and up and hold for eight seven six Lift higher if you can. Four, three, two, one. And slowly dropping down. We're going to lift that elbow under your shoulder. Let's lift that elbow under your shoulder. And you are making sure hips, knees, and shoulders are aligned. Slight forward rotation of that upper hip to isolate that glute, straightening that top leg lifting it up towards the ceiling as much as you can you're going to bend and extend and one and two pointing those toes and three and four and five and six seven and eight and lifting a little bit higher if you can from here knee tuck and one and two core tight and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and you're going to lift and hold for eight seven six five four three two one and resting and turning over onto your back as we did the last time we're just going to Stretch out that glute that we've just used for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And turning back over into that side plank. We're lifting hips, knees and shoulders all in line with each other. We're lifting up into that side plank, placing the other hand behind your head. You're going to lift up your upper leg towards the ceiling. Tucking in that pelvis and holding for 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hip lower, and one. Keeping that position, two, and three, and four, and five, two, three more, six, and seven, and eight, and slowly dropping down and turning over onto your backs. We're going to stretch out those glutes, right ankle on left knee, hugging knee to chest, and we're going to hold, inhale and exhale, five, four, three, two, one, and other ankle and holding for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, from here, we're slowly going to turn over onto our tummies. We're going to start with our palms facing each other, hands on head, I mean hands on the floor, head on the floor, neck in neutral. You're going to inhale and on the exhale, lifting knees up towards the ceiling and arms up towards the ceiling and lifting and holding, core tight, glutes tight, five, four, three, two, inhale down, we're going to do two more of those, inhale, exhale up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down, and inhale, exhale up. During this 10 seconds, we're going to slowly draw our shoulders down the back and we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, from here, bringing arms into W position. We're slowly going to inhale on the exhale, lifting legs towards the ceiling and chest up towards the ceiling and we're going to extend arms into T position and back to W and one drawing the shoulders down the back two three four we're doing eight five six seven and eight and back to W slowly rolling back down we're going to do the same thing but we're going to go from w to a y position so inhale exhale lifting legs off the ground arms in w and we're going to extend into y and squeezing the scaps as we're coming down the shoulder blades together that's one and squeeze two palms facing each other three four and five and six and seven last push and eight we're going to extend and lift and hold for eight seven six five four three two one and slowly down lifting up into a rest position, you're going to extend arms forward, leaning down into the ground, pushing the shoulders into the ground, and you're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go back onto all fours. Last little challenge of the day, just to see if you can manage. We're going to lift the right leg knee off the ground into an extended position and then you're going to do the same with the other leg and we're just going to hold in that bridge position for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 and if you're feeling strong enough we're going to do five push-ups those of you who need a little bit of a moderation modification you can put those knees in otherwise into five push-ups and one two, three, four, five, 
and dropping right knee in, left knee in, and back into rest position. We're going to do that one more time, but I'm going to do it in a modified way for those of you who don't feel strong enough to do it with an extended, with those knees off the floor. So we're going to lift back up into all fours, and we're just going to lower our knees slightly outside of the alignment of our hips. And we're going to drop that pelvis down and wrapping those ankles together. We're just going to hold there in this position for 10. The rest of you feeling strong, you can lift up into an extended plank position with those knees off the floor. Five, four, three, and five push-ups down. Keeping the position of that pelvis core tight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five and slowly leaning back into that rest position. In this position, we're going to draw our shoulders down towards the floor and just allowing that stretch and slowly walking over to the left hand side while we're walking, pushing those shoulders into the ground and pushing those ribs out towards the side. And you're gonna hold. And five, four, Three, two, one, back to center. And slowly over to the right hand side and pushing and holding. For five, four, three, two, one, and back to center. Slowly leaning over. Well done. I hope that is a good start to your weekend. I had a lot of fun doing that. I'm feeling really activated and see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you enjoyed this video <laughs> and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching.